What up, YouTube? It's your boy Take Over checking in again. Back with another video, man. I real little over six weeks out. You can see we got that all black on. You know what that means. Got the hat on, put the hood on. If you see me in the gym, you see me hooded up, hood on, hat on, headphones on. That means don't come up talking to me because I'm in my zone. I don't know if some of y'all may or may not been taught when y'all was kids, but I was taught you don't mess with a dog while he eat. It'll bite you. <laughs> I just got a quick message I want to get to y'all real quick before we get started with this workout. Never let nobody tell you or make you feel bad for being selfish. For doing what you need to do, taking the steps, moving out the morals and principles required to get to where you need to be in life or where you want to be in life to make your dreams a reality. If it's selfish, it may be selfish, but so what? Life is selfish. One thing about it is, if it's personal to you, it has to be selfish. The work that you put in and the decisions that you make on a day-to-day -day basis is what's going to get you to where you need and want to be in life. If you know your why, who you do it for, why you do it, it doesn't matter if it's selfish to nobody else. As long as you know why you're doing it and who you're doing it for, everybody's not going to understand. Every, don't expect everybody to understand because at the end of the day, you're doing it for your reasons. You don't waste your time trying to explain to people why you move the way you move or how you move the way you move or nothing. If they don't understand, if they question it, your, your discipline, your self-accountability, your self-control. And nine times out of 10, they don't need to be around you anyway because they're like a discipline, self-control, or whatever the case may be. The average human lacks discipline, self-control, and, and the list can go on and on. You know, the average human can't do what it takes. Don't have the mental fortitude to do what it takes to get them to where they need and want to be in life. Most people make excuses for everything which hinders them from reaching their goals. So, with that being said, be the one percenter, bro. If they want to remove themselves, like a lot of people be like, oh, body building the longest sport, you lose a lot of friends. That may be true, but if you lost a friend because you were chasing your, your goals, grinding, doing what, what's required, or if you lost a relationship because you were putting in the work and the time required, then they didn't need to be around you anyway, because if they can't understand and support the grind required to get to where you need to get, they definitely won't understand the work and the grind that's required to maintain the position that you that you uphold. So if they remove themselves from your circle, so be it. One thing about life is if people don't have a place, a positive and a valuable place in your life, God is gonna remove them from being in your circle. That's why my circle is so small, bro. But we finna get this work, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long with the chip chat. Let's work, stay tuned. Child, so like I say, I'm finna take y'all through my shoulder workout for the day. As y'all may know, if you're new to the channel, I don't do the same workout over and over and over. I don't really like routines where I do the same thing. I get bored and I feel like a variety is needed to look different. So this today on today's workout, we gonna start on rear delts. If you notice, when you compete, most people, most bodybuilders lack rear delts. So we gonna put emphasis on them today. You often see a lot of people moving the weight. In order to break down the muscle, you have to put the muscle on the stress. Like it's cool to be strong and all that, but if you can just move the weight and not get a contraction, that means the weight is too light, bro. The key is to control the weight, control the movement the whole entire time. The negative is just as important as the press or the pull. Always control the weight the entire movement.
All right, child, so we're on the second movement. It's my favorite right here. It's the key of shoulder exercises. Dumbbell presses. Now, reason, reason being that I'm doing dumbbell presses and not the Smith machine. Dumbbell presses, it's an isolated movement. Each shoulder has to carry its own weight. When you do like barbell, which are, are great, or when you do Smith machine, which are also great, your over your weaker hand will overcompensate your stronger. I mean, your stronger hand will overcompensate for your weaker shoulder, which can cause muscle imbalances. So, with me being six weeks out from the competition, I want to really focus on as many isolated movements as possible to make sure that I have the aesthetics and the muscle balance, the symmetry, and so on and so forth to look as best as I can on stage. Don't care about your opinion, where the check? The mic broke, so the audio may be a little off, but forget it. We still gonna get this work. Come on my video trying to tell me how the next bodybuilder train, bro. I don't care how the next bodybuilder train. Don't reference how nobody else train or who said what's wrong or blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I'm not saying my way is the right way. I'm not saying they way is the wrong way. I'm showing y'all what I do to build my physique. Don't tell me nobody else say, oh, you ain't supposed to be heavy on six weeks, blah, blah, blah. Hey, listen, one thing about me, I'm a dog, man. I have a dog mentality, a dog mindset. With that being said, I speak and move on my own. I know how to stay in my own lane, do what I do, figure out what works best for me. The beauty about bodybuilding is everybody ain't gonna agree on the styles of training. Everybody ain't gonna agree on the styles of dieting. But at the end of the day, when it comes show day, the best man gonna win. It's all about who can scope their body and build their body the best to be the last man standing. That's why when people be like, oh, it's me versus me. That's the softest shit you can say to me because it's easy to outwork yourself. If you wanna be at the top, it should be you versus whoever at the top. You should be ready and willing to outwork the person at the top. Why compete with yourself when you gonna set the bar high? You, gonna set, you, you ain't even at the top of the food chain, so why compete with yourself? If, we, if you compete with yourself, if you do one extra rep, you outworked yourself. You know what I mean? If you do one extra rep that you did the day before, you outworked yourself. Fuck competing against yourself, doing prep, you kill it. I, it's me versus everybody. When I step on stage, I want to be the last motherfucker standing. If you notice, for the most part, I be training by myself. Reason being is, I know I'm wired different. I know my mindset is different from a lot of these dudes, especially these competitors. Dudes always want to follow the trend and, and, and be soft and be scared to push themselves. If I know I ain't scared to push myself, but I work out with a cat who's scared to push himself, or a cat who don't take the grind serious, who don't have the discipline to watch what they put in their mouth, or to get their meals in or show up on time to the gym or whatever the case may be, that'll only be hindering me. That's handicapping me. It's not benefiting me to work out with somebody 
who think less is more. You feel me? So that's why I'm solo getting this work, man. Mm. 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 Six weeks out, let's go. to me all these dudes be claiming to be experts and know what's best but these guys don't be pros y'all don't be olympia qualified y'all be local jokers trying to give me advice on how to train on how to eat how much cardio i should do this i got a coach bro i don't want none of you guys coming up to me in the gym telling me what i need to be doing or what i should be doing well you ain't never reached the heights that i'm trying to reach You clearly don't know what it takes to get to where I'm trying to go. So keep your suck ass in mind. One thousand. Show them one thousand, man. One thousand. Six and seven. Yeah, dog way. Black on, man, that mean murder. That mean we coming from the top, baby. We willing to go through whoever get in the way. Run that back. Six weeks out, man. Let's go. We're gonna third movement. Dumbbell lateral raise. We're gonna do sets of 12. You need to make sure you're picking them on. Just a slight bend. Tip the pinky up. Control the weight. Don't have no knee bounce in it. It's not a leg workout. You want all the tension to be on this part of the deltoid. that you're keeping your brakes like 30 to 45 seconds. Keep in mind, you got the camera too broad. Oh, keep in mind, this is bodybuilding. You want to get as much blood in the muscles as possible. So we're on the fourth movement. So so far we didn't touch rear delts. We touched the whole shoulder with shoulder press. We touched the lateral head doing lateral raises. So now we're gonna target the front. Keep in mind we, we working to get 3D shoulders, man. So now we're gonna do the easy bar curl. 
Grab it. Close grab it. I'm up with it. Four sets of 12. It don't take a lot of weight. Keep in mind, we're getting, we get, we getting a pump today. We're chasing the pump. We like to live heavy, but you also want to make sure you're getting them reps to bring in them lines and them strikes. The, the thing about bodybuilding nowadays is everybody want to be big and huge, and they, they, they shine away from being conditioned and having details. So we're going to change the game. When we pull up, we want to be big, huge, and detailed. You can get more from this movement by leaning forward a little bit. So we back on the rear delt. This time, we got the cables. We're gonna get them high too. Right here. Try to get as even in the center as possible. For this for this workout. I have to show you all some arms on another day because I'm pressed for time. We're gonna hit four sets over here. We're gonna get up out of here. And this one we're doing reverse. I like this machine, but I like to do it the reverse way. It, it hits a, the front of them delts a lot harder.
just said come up. I gotta get home to my baby. Drop said, baby. She wrote y'all. I don't know how many reps there was, but we feeling it. Hope y'all like the video, man. Comment, subscribe. Hey, do your boy a solid, man. I'm gonna put my my link, my, my Gaspari link in the description. Help support the channel, support your boy. All your supplement needs, click that link, man. Do your boy a solid. I get commission off every sale, so. Support, continue to support your boy. I'm gonna continue to drop this content. I'm tired. I'm kind of cranky, ain't gonna lie. The vibe was kind of off in the gym today, kind of pissed me off. But it's all good, man. Feeling strong now, I'm gonna get up out of here. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.